Delivering judgments at the proceedings, which lasted over six hours, Justice O'Connor Bank convicted Chief Metu on all the seven counts, including the fraudulent receipt of 400 million naira from the Office of the National Security Advisor in November 2014, and use of the money for political activities of the PDP and for his personal purposes. The court also convicted Chief Metu for transacting with a cash sum of $2 million without going Going through a financial institution. The judge agreed that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission successfully proved that the transaction violated anti money laundering law, which pegs the maximum cash transaction an individual undertake outside a financial institution at 5 million naira. He sentenced Chief Metu to seven years imprisonment for counts one, two, four, and seven, five years imprisonment in respect of count three, and three years in respect of count five and six. Justice Abang, however, ruled that the sentences shall run concurrently, which implied that he would only spend the highest number of years of jail term, which is seven, in prison. The judge also directed Chief Metu to pay a fine of 375 million naira to the federal government. He also ordered Destra Investments to pay 25 million naira to the federal government and ordered the account of Destra in Diamond Bank and Asset Resource management to be closed and their proceeds forfeited to the federal government. Council of parties in the case comment on the judgments. We were disappointed with the judgment is that we thought that our defenses shall be too slow during the judgment. But incidentally the consideration was vested in the evidence of the prosecution. The judge relied mainly on the evidence of prosecution. In other words, he was uh, carrying on an experiment. For me, it's a good example of a bad judgment. And uh, we have our appeal in our hands. I still have confidence in the law court. And we are heading upstairs to the three wise men. Sharon Ajay reporting.